Level by Level Gaming, and welcome to the first part of 2021. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, um, you know that I'm very, very fond and familiar with this guy right here, the PAP K3+. Plus. Now, if you're new to the channel, just go in the playlist and you can see tons and tons of content on this. Now, as much as I love these little guys and um, I will still continue to play mine, um, I had to think, what is the future handheld for level by level gaming? And um, this little guy right here has seen the end of its run as far as any new development. In my opinion, they're still solid. They're still a great buy if you can get one on Amazon. Um, I think they're still around the $50 to $70 mark. Um, and a lot of fun can be had with these for not a lot of money. But I also like to um, play around with these things, get in here, um, customize them, upgrade them in that kind of thing, and create content for you guys. And this is moving out of the way going into 2021 and making way for my new handheld pick of this year and hopefully i can get as much fun and service out of this as i did out of that and that handheld is going to be unboxed and revealed to you guys today and that is going to be the Retroid Pocket. We'll get into that box in a second. Yes, the Retroid Pocket is what I went with to future proof myself moving into 2021 and for the next couple years. Um, let's see here. I went with the retro color scheme um, they have lots of different color schemes in fact uh, considering uh, how many videos I can probably squeeze out of this device uh, we'll go into their website and I will give you an introduction to this thing as part of either today's video or moving forward it just depends on my time frame don't want to overload you guys all at once all right I have not opened this. Uh, you guys are seeing it unboxed and open for the first time. I will tell you, I waited a long time for this. I ordered it uh, at the end of 2019 and it took a couple months to get it in. And um, that might also have something to do with the color scheme that I chose. Well, before I pull it out of the box, I always get ahead of myself when I do these things because these are usually one take shots here um, the box looks nice uh, I don't mind the fact that it's super simple um, I mean I don't I like the the simplistic white with just a little black outline uh, it tells you which one that you've chosen they just check it off with a pen on the back it gives you just a quick reference idea of what you're getting, um, what the console looks like, where the buttons are laid out. Let's see, it's got something here, I guess maybe, yes. So not only do they have it checked on the side, they also have a little box here checked because that looks exactly like this is the color scheme. So it's the old Nintendo Game Boy gray and red type feel to it. So, um yeah so that's the outside of the box let's go ahead and open it up here now i don't know if the batteries are going to be charged on this and honestly i highly doubt it so like i said i haven't even opened this and looked this turned it on you guys are seeing it all for the first time right now so when we get to that point and if i cut it on and it doesn't come on um or I try to cut it on, I'll just pause the video, plug it up, and we will continue on from there. Right now, I'm just opening it up and showing it to you guys. Right. Well, 
I just want to show the device first and then we'll get to all the little goodies that come in the box and the bag and all that. All right, there you go. Um, first of all, right off the bat, I really like the way this thing looks. I mean, it does have that old school Nintendo feel. In fact, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna go over to my collection and grab an old Game Boy and put them side by side just to show you guys. All right, so here is an original Game Boy. And um, I think they nailed it. You got the same color here and here. Um, the gray is, mine is really dingy. Uh, he's seen better days. So uh, if I really wanted to clean this up, I do believe it would match this. But I mean, they're right on with their color there. So yeah, um, I'm happy with the retro thing now. Uh, they didn't go all the way as to make the start, home, select, all that stuff here. This same gray that's on these buttons, um, these are black, but still, you get what I'm saying. Uh, this is exactly what they were going for with their color scheme on this one. So let's move that out of the way, and let's keep going. All right. Um, feels good in my hand. Uh, it doesn't have a click to this, or let's see, or this. So, um, you know, like on an Xbox controller or modern controller, you have an additional button that's available to you by pushing in and clicking. But I'm sure just doing retro, that'd be overkill. Um, wouldn't totally necessary anyways. Everything feels good. Buttons have a good mash to them. Oh, and I'm really digging how these shoulder buttons, so I can get the focus here. I always have this problem. I guess that's what I get for using a phone. Maybe 2021 I can invest in a nice YouTube camera. So anyways, um, I like how these, there we go. I like how these shoulder buttons are kind of, they kind of hang off um, ergonomically. That works really, really well. Mm. Let's see. Well, it's going to talk about right off the bat and eh, first impressions here. Um, yeah, I'm digging it. Looks like USB C type charger there. Um, not really sure what this guy is right here. Uh, I'll have to learn. There's a lot I need to learn about this handheld. Now, also, since this has been out for a few months, um, in 20, at the end of 2019, middle to end of 2019, there are lots of popular YouTubers, uh, people that have treaded this path well before me. So um, I've got some more information that I can get and present to you guys. This is just day one cursory type stuff. So we can go into more of these details in the future. All right, let's set that off to the side. Let's just get into what the box holds for us. Um, a pretty basic instruction manual here. Yeah, one of these fold out info pamphlet type things, um, and a warranty card. I guess I can mail this in if I felt like it. I keep getting off to the side because I'm looking under. <laughs> looking under my viewfinder. Um, uh, it looks like a pretty generic USB-C type deal. My phone and Nintendo Switch and everything uses these things, so I have made the jump to USB-C. Yes, I am a latecomer. Um, but I do have plenty of stuff for that now, which that is really nice. I will say having a modern USB-C type deal with this guy is going to make it so much better than having to go with these have the um, really old school original USB types that uh, are hard to find now. Um, I was pretty fortunate to have 
lots of electronics that had used those in the past. Uh, mainly my old Garmin GPS used that. So I have chargers and cables and everything for that because the one that came with this one wasn't stellar. And I'm sure this isn't like top notch, but it'll get me by. And there's lots of options for this. So I'll just keep this in the frame somewhere. There we go. All right, uh, they give you a little screen protector, which is nice. Let's get into the box here. Um, what is this? Oh, well, that's kind of neat. A little USB to C cable converter there. Oh, a little adapter. And it even says Retroid on it. Nice. All right. And we have, uh, that looks like, if I can get focus here, an HDMI to this little micro connector there. So this looks like, I mean, they really did. I mean, this isn't just like a, a generic deal like this guy here. Uh, this one's actually marked Retroid and everything. And this is the adapter to go into here and HDMI this to out to your TV. So yeah, super neat. All right. Now the uh, price point on this was somewhere around 80 bucks. Uh, I'll have to go back. Um, when I do more detailed videos on this, as far as where to get it, um, how much it costs, that kind of thing, uh, we can go into exact details because there was some shipping and handling involved. And like I said, it took me a long time to get this. So, and these, I mean, you can jump on Amazon right now, find one, pay for it, and get it in a couple days. Even um, back a while ago, I found some on AliExpress, and it didn't take nearly as long as it took to get this. So I will say, right off the bat, that is a downside, is, is how long I actually had to wait for this little guy. And I had it in for a while, and just have been busy through the first part of January 2021 and wasn't even able to do anything with it. So um, let's get on to firing it up. Looks like it's right there on top. There we go. All right, we've got life. Hey, I'm happy with that. It didn't come shipped completely dead. I uh, guarantee you one of these new comes in 90% of the time. I mean, they're, they're completely dead. So um, let's just set it down and see how long. I have read and heard uh, that these things take quite a while to fire up. We're in real time. Android is starting. And this is one of those things in editing, I'll have to make a decision. No, look, if it would have took a little longer, we would have done a speed up. That really wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. Maybe it's because I'm long-winded and I was just talking to you guys the whole time. Um, because we can go back and look and see exactly how long that took. Uh, right off the bat, it's going to give me some instructions here. Long press home key for one second to switch between mouse mode and gamepad mode. In the mouse mode, the joystick controls mouse movement, uh, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not gonna read this all to you. All right, it says something about start and volume key to adjust. Okay, start plus volume key to adjust brightness of the screen. Work with me. Is this not, oh, it is touchscreen. Cause I thought I'd remember, or is it? What happened? Oh no. <laughs> Don't want to shut down. 
hold the power key for 15 seconds to force shut down. Oh, I guess that's not what I was looking at. Is it touch screen? I guess not. Ah, I thought it was. Ah, that's, anyway. You can tell that I am a complete noob to this device. Or was well, that all the power I got? <laughs> I'm thinking that's all the power I'm going to get right off the bat. So, uh, lo and behold, it wasn't completely dead. <laughs> it was right on the edge because I think we just went through a uh, battery off, completely juice drained type thing. You got a green light on the top here. Uh, where is the battery indicator? No, the battery says 88%. Weird. Yeah, can you see that? Is it going to give me tips every time I cut it on? All right. So I'm actually uh, navigating around with the directional keypad here. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot of this today. Uh, this is really just firing it up for the first time, opening the box looking at it, just getting a general feel for the device. Um, I like it. It feels good in my hand. Uh, it's got, to me, a, just about the perfect type of weight to it. It doesn't feel super cheap, but it's not really heavy either. Um, and I like the way, now these, these joysticks, uh, this is one of those, this reminds me very, very much of the uh, original PSP. Um, it's one of those slider type deals, and then this feels more like a um, traditional joystick there. Um, this actually reminds me of the Nintendo Switch a little bit. And then here we go with the directional pad. But everything feels good. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to do quite a bit of playing around um, with this thing, learning it and not just rambling my way through this. But I wanted you guys to see a genuine experience opening this thing up, uh, cutting it on for the first time, and how I just generally felt about the handheld first impressions. So far, so good. I'm seeing a lot of good things and hearing a lot of good things about this device. And the fact that it is Android, the fact that when I ordered it, which I haven't checked up on in a while, but when I did order it, there was talk about it being um, upgraded or an upgrade coming down the pipe for it to be um, the Android operating system being updated to a later version. So the fact that it's Android, the fact that it has a lot more um, button options to it. It has a more powerful processor, operating system, board. Just being an overall powerhouse over this, this was what I chose to make a natural evolution um, into for this year and moving forward. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. This has kind of been a long one. I'm coming up on the 20 minute mark. Um, sorry about that glitch in the video. Seems like it happens almost every single one, at least once. But like I was saying, if you like what I do, please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think.